Tutor.com is a website that you can use to get personalized tutoring one-on-one with a real-life person 24 hours a day and seven days a week. This is paid for by the Indiana Gear Up program, and you can use it as much or as little as you would like. There's only one caveat to this, and that caveat is that you are a student in our cohorts, and our cohorts currently are classes that are in Indiana Gear Up Partner Schools, which you saw at the beginning of this video. There was a slide that listed all those schools, and that you are part of the graduating classes of 2022 or 2023. The only exception to this is Warren Central High School, where we are only servicing the graduating class of 2022. Now, the first thing that you need to kind of know when you go here is that the web address for this is tutor.com slash Indiana Gear Up, all one word. And you'll know you're in the right place when you go up here and you'll have the tutor.com logo right here. And you'll also have the Indiana Gear Up logo. Now, if you just put gear up, there's a different gear up that has that. It needs to be Indiana Gear Up, all one word. Um, and then you will wind up with the Indiana Gear Up logo. So when you get to that website, you're going to be greeted by this uh, page right here. Uh, there's a sign in up here. You won't use that. You'll use what's right here. And one of the things that I really, 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 really like about this page is that down here, it basically tells you everything you need to know. Um, your username, I'll just highlight it right here so you can see it. It says to log in using first name dot last name is your username. And it says IE Jane Doe equals Jane dot Doe. That is going to work most of the time. The name that you need to use is the name that your school has on file in their computer system. So if you go by Billy and your name is William, you need to use William. Uh, so whatever is in the computer system, that's what it's going to be. There is one other edge case that I've seen is if you happen to have two last names. So if my name was, uh, I'm just going to make up a ridiculous name here. Let's say John Smith. Oh, can't type. Smith, and let's say I had a second last name, uh, so like John Smith Jones. Uh, sometimes it is John dot Smith space Jones. Oh, that went in the wrong spot. Like that. Usually the second last name is just spaced away from the first one. Uh, that's something to try. If for any reason you can't get in with what you think should be your username or password down here at the very bottom it says for technical assistance with your username and password please contact gear up at purdue.edu and that is going to be true um that should be your first stop if anything does not work okay um now everybody's password is exactly the same it's gear up it's all lowercase and it's all one word with no spaces that's down here uh at the bottom you can see it right there and there's actually a demo. So I'm going to do a little bit of a demo, but you can actually see more if you go here and click this demo to see the online classroom. Uh, because I'm not actually logging in and doing a tutoring session, there's only going to be so much I can show you. That demo will show you pretty much everything. So that's it's probably a good thing to check out before your first time doing it. So what I'm going to do here is we have a, a nice little demo account. And we'll go ahead and sign in. Okay, when you get here, there is a lot of stuff going on on the screen. Some of it you don't really need. Some of it you will. It automatically connects you to this first page. It's just connect. 99% of the time, this is what you're going to want. This is going to be, I need a tutor right now. I didn't know I needed a tutor before, but at this second, I need a tutor. So you will go into this, the connect tab. And like I said, it automatically puts you there. So it's pretty, pretty easy to get to this one. You're going to interface mostly with this little grayed out box here. Um, in the corner, we have English. That's going to be the language your tutor speaks. There is also a Spanish option. If you're more proficient in Spanish than you are English, they will try to find you a Spanish tutor for the subject that you want to uh, do some tutoring in. There's not always Spanish tutors available, but they do their best to try to find some. Then you'll have topic, and I'm just going to go ahead and click this open so you can see there are lots of subjects, and you can use this for any subject that you would use tutoring for. Um, math is the default. You also have science. You have English and writing. You social studies, foreign languages. I believe the foreign languages, uh, let me double check that real quick. It's Spanish, French, and German. So those are the three languages that they offer services in. You've got computer skills. You've got SAT prep, uh, PSAT prep, ACT prep. You also have some AP prep and some high school equivalency t test prep, which probably isn't going to be something you guys would use, but it is there. Okay, once you go, so let's just say math. 
when I go to subject, I would pick what math class I'm in. So if I'm a sophomore, I'm probably going to be in either geometry or algebra two. Let's just do algebra two. And then what grade I'm in, uh, let's just say sophomore because we were going with that. Uh, now, there's a box here that says, I want a tutor with voice chat capabilities. That is something that you can do where you and a tutor talk to each other back and forth. I have noticed that most students don't want that. They want text chat, which is the default. Um, but if you do want somebody with voice chat, you can click this and they will do their best to try to find somebody that will um, help you out. Now, enter your question. The way that tutor.com works is you come with a question that you need help with, and they will help you through that question. If you're still not getting it, they will help you with more questions. It's not just one question and you're out. They will keep working with you as long as you need to. But a lot of times, usually through one question and through the process they go through, you're probably going to be okay. If you're not, you can stay with them, or you can disconnect and reconnect and find another tutor and do another question. Um, all those things are possibilities for you. For right now, let's just say, I'm just going to put in a dummy question here. Just do a little quadratic here. <laughs> and then I can hit connect now, and that's going to take me to a tutor. Another thing that you can do is attach a file. Um, if you're using a phone or a tablet or something that has a camera, or if you're able to move that to your Chromebook or whatever device you're using, you can actually take a picture of what you're working on and attach it. I know for math, that tends to be very helpful because the tutor can then see exactly what you're doing. Um, if not, like I said, you can just type it in here, but then you will hit connect now and that will take you to a tutor. Now, when you get into tutoring, there will be a chat um, where you can talk back and forth. There will be a interactive whiteboard that the tutor can write on and you can write on. You have to use your mouse, which is a little not great, but it is something you can do to, to work through problems or uh, anything. It doesn't have to be math. I'm just using math as the example right now. Once you do that, that's your tutoring session. The average tutoring session last is, is below 20 minutes. Now, that doesn't mean it has to be below 20 minutes. You could have a tutoring session, session that lasts two hours. Whatever you need, they're there to help you with. So that is the connect option. Like I said, 90% of the time, that's probably what you're going to wind up using is connect. The next one down is schedule it, a tutoring session. Now, what you can do here is this is I will have time on Tuesday at 3 o'clock to do a tutoring session. And what you can do is just go here and say, let's say we're still in that Algebra 2, no, algebra two class. And then you can set here it's next available, highest rated, or number of reviews. Let's go highest rated because we want somebody who's really, really good at this. Okay. And then you could, let's say, Guillermo here, we're going to schedule with him. And it takes a second to load. And then it shows me a calendar of when he's available. So if I wanted to, let's say Thursday, I want to book a session with him. I can pick from these two times. And then I would fill this out basically the same way I fill out the connect. Okay. And so we have Guillermo, we've set up our time. And then we can go down here and we fill this out just like we would on the connect page. One of the nice things about the tutor.com platform is you are able to review the tutors. You may wind up finding that you like specific tutors and there are some tutors you really don't want to ever work with again. This review system is how you can determine that and how you can kind of tell other people what you think about it. So usually when you finish a tutoring session, there will be a survey for you to fill out. Um, it's really helpful for you to fill that out. It kind of lets other people know what's going on. Okay, so that's scheduling. If we want to schedule a session with a tutor, we go pick that tutor, pick the time, pick the subject, pick what we want to do, and then we just log in whenever it's time to do that. The next one is submit a paper for review. Now, this is a little different than the others. For here, you're going to submit your document for a 12-hour review. So if I take a document that I've been working on and writing, and I want somebody to kind of go over it, maybe proofread it a little bit, give me some suggestions on edits, I would submit it to here. And then they have 12 hours to go ahead and do that for you. There's lots to fill out on this one, but it's probably worth it in the long run. So you would select your grade level. Let's say we're in 10th grade. Then you would put what the topic of your paper is. There's a limit to how many characters. 1,200 characters is a lot. You probably can say a whole, a whole bunch about what your topic was right there. Um, where you are in the writing process, they give you a couple options. I think it needs a lot of work still. I think I'm on track, but ready for some feedback, or I think it's almost perfect, and I just want somebody to look at it. The next one is please describe your assignment and any instructions you've received from your teacher or professor. So this would be what the assignment was. 
And then citation formats, depending on what you're doing. Uh, typically, if you're in a science or a math, it's going to be APA. If you're in English, it's going to be MLA. Um, these others, uh, possibly, depends on what content area you're in. And then you would upload the document. Now, you can see down here, it's very tiny at the bottom. It says accepted file formats are DOC, DOCX, and TXT. One of the things with tutor.com that is kind of inconvenient, or inconvenient, I guess is the correct word, is that it doesn't speak Google Docs. And that can be problematic. So what you need to do in Google Docs, when you make your paper in Google Docs, you're going to want to go to the option under file that says download as, and you're going to download that as a DOCX file, and then you can upload it to here. Now, that's going to make it a little harder for you to get those changes back into Google Docs, but that's the only way that they can look at your paper is by doing that. So you do have to convert that into one of these formats here before it will actually work. Okay, and that's the submit. So right now we have connect, schedule, and submit. These last two are probably not going to be something that's very useful to you right now, but maybe in the future we'll just talk about it real quick. You can take practice quizzes. So you can go in here and let's say Algebra 2, and then let's say we were just doing solving quadratic equations. And then you can take a quiz based on that. So when you hit take a quiz, it will pop up a separate window with a quiz in it that you can take and kind of show you where you're at in that subject area. The last thing is prep for AP exams. Uh, some of you will be able to take the AP exams in a couple of years, maybe some of you next year. Right now they have biology, calculus, US history and world history. You can go ahead and get some prep work in for that if you wanna get a head start. Um, but like I said, probably in the future, this is gonna be much more handy for you. Okay, the last thing I wanna look at is here in my account, there's a couple things you can do. Um, my sessions. If we go in here, what will happen is every session that you do is recorded. So if you remember, I let's just go back to what we we're talking about earlier. We had a tutoring session with Guillermo, and we remember that there was something that he did that we don't remember. We can actually go back and watch that session, which is really, really helpful. Everything you ever do in tutor.com winds up being recorded and saved for you to go back and look at later. Um, the next thing is my favorite tutors. So once you decide on tutors that you really like, you can mark them to be in your favorite tutors to where if they are available when you want to have a tutoring session, you can choose to have them, um, which is very, very helpful. Really? That's all you're probably going to wind up doing with tutor.com. Like we said at the beginning, if you have any problems, let me go ahead and sign out. We'll go back to that first page. This gear up at purdue.edu is going to be the place to go to get as much help as you need and pretty much anything. We ask that you use it as much as you feel you need to. Um, it's a really good resource. One thing I would remind you is the person on the other side is literally a person. So you do want to be polite. You do want to have some manners when you interact with them. And remember that they have feelings just like you do. Um, if for some reason you're upset, that's fine. Try not to take it out on them. 